for the love of story, for the passion behind the art. Perhaps literature's most visually compelling paper-bound stories lie in the pages of comic books. There is something quite super about flipping through a comic, and May is a great month to be a fan. This is the uh, second annual uh, Nanaimo Comic Book Show, which we put on in conjunction with Free Comic Day because uh, we're getting customers here uh, already for the free comics. They might as well have uh, lots of nice vintage stuff to browse through. What did you pick out there? In Star Wars and this. If you weren't at Country Club Center to pick up a few of the 53 available titles on free comic book day, you may want to mark your calendar for next year, May 3rd. It's an annual event that's helping to revive the comic book industry. There's a lot more interest in comic books these days. All the great movies that have come out featuring comic uh, characters and uh, with shows like uh, Big Bang Theory making geek culture a little bit more palatable, uh, a lot of people are, are are not afraid to say they like comic books. Got it, 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 it. Though many of the popular characters today are timeless and have been around for decades, the sophistication of the stories and the art has changed. When I was a kid, comics were a uh, disposable medium that were, were uh, meant to be consumed by kids and so they're written for kids and uh, some of them are very well written but uh, at a at an age-appropriate level. Nowadays, uh, I'd say the majority of people that are reading comics are probably in their late teens to uh, 30s. And comic writing and art style has evolved to, uh, to satisfy those people. As featured guest at the show, Dan Schoening, artist from the popular Ghostbuster comic book series, was around to give some good industry insights. Is that the picture of the guy in the movie where it's all green and it's like the blob guy? The Slimer, yeah. Yeah, yeah we draw him in the comic occasionally. Ladysmith artist Nevin Arnold was also at the show promoting his comic book, so we decided to mic up Dan and Nevin and let the conversation unfold. So you watch the Ghostbusters movies a lot for reference? With the comic, we're not, we're not allowed to draw the likenesses of the actors, so we try and capture the essence of their personalities in the looks of them. That would be tricky to capture the, the likeness without, without having too much likeness. Yeah, yeah, it's a kind of a fine line. It takes a lot of time and patience to successfully illustrate a comic, so how does it feel for an artist to hold a final printed issue in their hands? Well, it's really gratifying. I guess that's the part where you think of all the hours and hours and days and months that have gone into it, and then, and then it kind of reminds you why all that hard work is, is worth it to see the end result and to see other people get excited about it too. The fans for Ghostbusters are very, very intense. They love their Ghostbusters, so when you get a compliment from them, you know, it's, it's uh, full of heart and sincere, so it's nice to know that I'm a part of uh, something that I grew up with as a kid, so it's quite humbling to be able to add to the, uh, the canon of the Ghostbusters. So Dan, I just have to ask, what would I look like as a Ghostbuster? Let me think about that. We can start drawing. Something strange who you gonna call? Ghostbusters! If something weird and it don't look good, who you gonna call? Ghostbusters! As my Ghostbuster likeness comes together, we take one last look at the comic show. Everybody gets something different out of comics. Uh, some people just love the, the pictures and the action, and uh, some people love the snappy dialogue. Uh, it's great for people who are a little bit more visual. This year's free comic day has passed, but comics are still readily available for purchase at specialty stores around the island. In Nanaimo, I'm Derek Johnstone. <laughs>